Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Movie Snips. Today we're going to be looking at replicant Leon Kowalski, played by Brian James, as depicted in the original Blade Runner film of 1982. So Leon K Kowalski was among the six replicants that led an insurrection in the Dominguez colony off-world. The group then decided to hijack a shuttle, killing 23 people on board and made their way back to Earth in the hope of being able to find a way to extend their lives. Their lifespans were capped at four years and the clock was ticking. Leon and his fellow replicants believed that Eldon Tyrell, the CEO and founder of the Tyrell Mega Corporation, would be able to alter their DNA, thereby allowing, allowing them to live longer. Leon was physically very strong and had great endurance, but was a bit lacking in the mental department. This was reflected in his profile readout, which was displayed on screen in the scene where Deckard is conversing with Officer Brian about the six skin jobs that were at large. Uh, Leon had a physical level of A and a mental level of C. He was a frontline soldier in numerous off-world conflicts as w and was used as a 400-pound nu nuclear warhead loader. Uh, however, he didn't have the mental acuity and cognitive thought abilities possessed by his fellow replicant Roy Batty. He was rather dim-witted and would readily resort to violence when faced with a confrontation rather than thinking through the problem. He was an advanced Nexus 6 model created by the Tyrell Corporation, thereby possessing emotions believed to be uniquely human. After arriving on Earth with the group following their escape from an off-world colony, uh, Leon took shelter at the Yukon Hotel on Hunter Wasser Street and found um, employment as a waste disposal, disposal engineer at the Tyrell Corporation. Following a failed attempt to break into the Tyrell Corporation headquarters by the six replicants, the, rep the police assumed that the replicants might try again by, by disguising themselves as Tyrell employees. For this reason, they started to question all of the workers at Tyrell's Level 9 Replication Center. Leon, less than a week into his employment, ended up being interviewed for this very purpose. Blade Runner Dave Holden interviewed Leon, utilizing a Voight Kampf machine. As Holden began to suspect Kowalski of being a fugitive replicant, uh, Leon took out a handgun and shot him in the head. Leon then escaped the Tyrell Corporation building and was left to roam the streets of Los Angeles freely. Despite being portrayed as a rough-edged brute, he did have a sentimental side to him and would collect photos of people he considered close to him, people who he believed gave his life a sense of purpose. When attempting to re retrieve photos of his fellow replicants from his hotel room, Leon spotted Blade Runner's Rick Deckard and Gaff rifling through his room, which enraged him significantly. He also did have the ability to experience complex human emotions such as remorse and revenge after Deckard retired Zora in the middle of a busy street. Saddened by Zora's death, Leon attempted to kill Deckard following the incident before being shot in the head by Rachel. Leon is loosely based on the character Max Polakoff from Philip K. Dick's novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Ridley Scott originally intended to cast a black actor as Leon, but ended up casting James as he was very impressed with his audition for the role. In the Blade Runner comics, Leon shoots Blade Runner Dave Holden in the back rather than in the head when the latter attempts to escape from his office. A deleted scene from the film features Leon going back to his hotel room a few seconds after Deckard and Gaff leave. He then picks up and examines the piece of origami that Gaff leaves at the site. A version of the scene was included in the novelization of the movie by uh, Les Martin. I'd like to thank you for watching my video today. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please check out my channel for more lore videos.